Over time, the training flights with the Greenhorns have become kind of a break for me. Usually, we flew in a unit to the northwest, patrolling over the dawn. There was virtually no chance that we'd encounter any Soviet fighters here. The new guys had enough time to learn how to more or less stay in formation and keep an eye out on what was going on around them in the air. Today, four of us would be going up and doing a quick patrol over the city of Stalingrad. I would be flying my 109 with the 20mm gun pods once again. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back to the Fortress on the Volga campaign. As you can see, we are back in our trusty BF-109G2 with the 20mm gun pod strapped underneath. We are patrolling Stalingrad now. We're supposed to patrol up and down it. I am patrolling the northern sector of the city currently, and a 109 is diving down. Oh, multiple. That's my flight. They are diving down on something. Did not expect company so quickly. And what do we got? Oh, follow them in. Oh my gosh, okay, a lag. Oh boy, are we gonna pull out of this? Okay, yes we are. Okay, we're good. Cut it a little close. We have aisle twos, 12 o'clock. All right, let's go get some. Good thing we have the 20 millimeter cannons. That's definitely going to make our job a little easier. We're moving nice and quick now, 500 kph. Let's see, do these guys have rear gunners? I sure hope not. Uh, that'll make things a little more interesting. Okay, we're going for this one that is splitting off from the rest of the formation. Try to attack from slightly above the target. And he's turned off. Oh, come here. And... Not sure how successful that was. And give it a, a few squirts. I don't think we actually hit anything in those couple of passes. The aisle twos are going evasive, which uh, can't say I really blame them. There we go. Uh, that guy is Swiss cheese. However, I think he still may be flying a little bit. He has uh, just got to blow off a few more control surfaces. Wow, this is a lot of aisle twos. There's a whole whole swarm of them. Okay, come here. Uh, try to position ourselves. Avoid those cannons. IL-2 definitely has some teeth if you're not careful. We're rolling back around. Oh, they're launching rockets. This guy's on an attack run? Whoa, jeez. Part of his tail almost just slammed through my canopy and killed me. All right, let's climb up and try to attack from above. The problem is they're flying so darn low, I don't have much time to pull out. Okay. Going into a dive. Hello, my friend. I am impressed. It always impresses me how how well they stay airborne. Need to line up my shots a little bit better as well. I do not see the IL-2 we've been harassing. We got multiple up here though, and then there's also the the Russian fighters, which it seems like the rest of the 109s are uh, preoccupied with. I do wonder if that IL-2 went down. I do not see him flying. Let's go investigate what's going on over here. Um, that is a 109 on an IL-2. Okay, the 109s are now engaging the IL-2s. Perfect. There was a fireball there. More IL-2s off to 3 o'clock. Oh my gosh, that IL-2 is getting torn up. Looks like he lost a piece of his aircraft, and I think he is going down. And he's plummeting right down to the earth. Is that another large flight of IL-2s? Are these Peshkas? Or BF-110s? Airspace is a little... Yeah, those are 110s. Awesome. Okay. Alright, let's swing it back around. Yeah, 
and uh, go back after those aisle two, shall we? Just wanted to make sure everyone back here was okay. Cannon ammunition is probably getting a little low, especially in our wing cannons. Follow this 109, see where he's heading off to. There's an aisle two, one o'clock. Multiple aisle twos. I'm just passed right underneath. He is being engaged. We'll swing back in and uh, engage him as well. Oh, come on now. Uh, that had to hurt, and he is done for. He's in a spin. I don't think he's recovering. Wow, did he really? Is he really going to? Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm shocked he recovered from that. I, I could have... I would have put money on him crashing. All right, one more. Oh, there he goes. He lost control again. Splash. Okay, what do we have at 12? That is a BF-109. Here's another uh, Sturmovic. Heading his way. Let's make sure we're not killing our engine here. That would be less than ideal. Do not want to blow out our engine and make uh, returning home even more difficult. Fantasy IL-2 is taking ground fire. Go for a deflection shot here. Maybe. And I blew off his rudder. The IL-2 is... Yeah, he's done. Splash 2. Clean kill. Let's head this way. I have a large aircraft, 12 o'clock. It's taking flak, though. It may be one of the BF-110s that we just saw. It's checking around me. Any more IL-2s back here? There's still AAA behind us. Let's go investigate. Still have uh, about a third of our ammo left. Let's go check out this ground fire. All the 20 millimeter cannons definitely come in handy when engaging uh, flying bricks. Which uh, it seems like we're doing. I have not seen very many fighters besides those initial few. And it looks like that AAA I saw may have just been uh, ground troops engaging stuff. Yeah, they're fight they're fighting on the ground. That's all I saw. Okay, let's swing it back back around and head towards the Volga. What's this? BF-109. Okay. Let's try to climb back up to altitude and continue our patrol over the Volga. See if anything else is out here. Well, everybody, we have reached the northern end of the city with no other enemy sighted. So we're going to go ahead and turn back towards Potomac Airfield. A rather successful sortie. I shot down two or three aircraft. Not exactly sure. Let's see, anything else going on over here? No flak. I think the BF-110 started heading back as well. So, ah, yeah, looks like our job is done. Well, let's go in and hopefully have a pleasant landing. Okay, we are at Potomac, and there's a couple of JU-52s coming in for landing here. That's pretty cool seeing that. All right. Well, we will swing around and uh, get ready to land this crate. That's cool. <laughs> Those JU-52s are coming in right now. That's awesome. All right. Anyway, we are supposed to land on the northern runway which looks like it is currently occupied and there's a 109 taking a sweet time getting off there so 
Uh, that's fine. We'll do a little flyby, I suppose. Say hello. As he uh, taxis off. Hello. This is a, a nice large airfield, though. Lots of JU-52s here. Oh, we probably could have landed if we just stuck to the right here, but... Let's race past that guy. Alright. Well, with that... <laughs> with that, we will go in for our landing. Let's, let's just swing back around and get on final. Okay, everybody, we are coming in now. Lowering our gear, gear is down and locked. Still going a little quick here. Definitely need to uh, kill off a bit of airspeed, but we're doing fine, we're doing fine. Runway is clear, that is good. The JU-52s are at 12 o'clock. All right, nice and easy. We haven't had a horrible landing yet, so it would be a shame if this was our first just absolutely horrendous landing. Smash the wings, bend the prop. That would be unfortunate. All right. Okay, and there we go, we are down. Almost, a couple of bounces. Okay, more than a couple. All right, there we go came in a little hot there, but we are golden. All right, raise our flaps, brake, and oh, brother. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Good thing uh, these things are, <laughs> these things are like Legos, so that'll, that'll pop right back in. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I'll see you on the debrief. Alrighty, folks, mission accomplished according to the game. That was a successful landing, so I'm going to take what I can get here. We were in the air for 22 minutes, and we shot down three IL-2s. We did get credit for that one I lost, so I, I assume he probably went down shortly after I lost a visual on him. We can go to the event log and see, wow, there was quite a bit of air combat uh, in the north here. Let's see the IL-2s I destroyed. Looks like they blew up some howitzers. Uh, LA-5, another IL-2, and then uh, I guess this is, yeah, our BF-10s, or bf excuse me, uh, bombed some stuff on the Volga Bank. Something else went. Enemy AAA gun was destroyed up here. Interesting. Alrighty, folks. Well, that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.